Well, it's time to hit up the last of our easy targets by going down, you know, the bicycle path. Now I'll probably call it quits on Pokemon for tonight, because, you know, this will be, what, the seventh video? So yeah, that's quite a bit of Pokemon, you know, in one go for tonight. Plus, you know, I still need to get work done on Lost Kingdoms too. Damn it, as soon as I let go, he actually turns around and catches us. Damn you! You stopped me from being a speed demon! Ugh, what's gonna cost me? Not as much as copying some cards in Lost Kingdoms 2, but it will cost me. I'll be there is a cheaper method for um, copying cards in that game, but that basically becomes cheating in my opinion, because I'm not legitimately, you know, gaining the experience for the cards. I mean, if the game makes it easy to do it, that's one thing if I exploit it, you know. That's sort of like, you know, if you can set up Final Fantasy 12 to play itself with the Gambit system, you go to an area where you can just farm, you know, a large amount of experience, you know, while you just sit there doing nothing. Like, that's not, you know, as bad, you know, as just outright copying save files and moving cards around, you know, because that's exploiting, you know, bad programming by the developer's part, because you can have multiple saves on the same memory card and just transfer files between them easily. Um, or cards, I should say, not files. Though I suppose cards and files might as well be the same thing, because cards definitely would be in a file or folder, right? But yeah, if you use that, you basically give yourself an infinite number of, like, the good cards, you know, by just trading them back and forth. You know, trade them to one new account, then trade them to another copy of your, um, good save account. So, it's very abusable, but, you know, I'm, like, you know, we're gonna try and do this as legitimately as possible. Just because the game makes it so I can, you know, easily exploit, you know, a system that gets me, like, effectively infinite amounts of experience. It's not the same thing, you know, as just copying cards and moving them around. We're actually doing something. Okay, the game's doing most of the work for me, but hey, they set it up to where I can do it that way, okay? So, obviously it was meant to be used, right? <laughs> Though I suppose you could argue I'm just exploiting the game, but it, I still feel it's not as bad as if I was just, you know, straight copying cards around, you know, by abusing the stuff you can do with the save files. I mean, I've done something similar like that with Forbidden Memories in order to beat it one time, you know, just copying all the good fusion cards and moving them back and forth. And I left a somewhat bad taste in my mouth. I mean, I'm, I can point out the game, you know, is completely unfair, but I, I'm still cheating it, you know, by doing that. Gosh darn it. She's spending all my money on useless polka dolls. If I want a polka doll in my room, I go buy one. But I don't. <laughs> I got no use for a polka doll. Well, time to get in a little healing here and then move on to the gym. After all, I didn't recover after the last gym battle. <laughs> I wonder how much experience the vampires are up to. When I started this recording, they were already at 18,000. I now got 11 of them in my deck. And when you kill a monster, every single copy of a card in your deck gets the same amount of experience, so... You know, if you have 11 copies of a card, they basically get the experience of the monster you just killed times 11. Which is quite devastating, you know. Well, not devastating, very useful. You know, if you want to get some really powerful cards, you know, if you can shove more and more copies in there, eventually you know, you'll be able to grind them out really fast. That's why being able to make money in this game is rather easy if you know what you're doing, since you can make lots of copies of, like, baby dragons and upgrade them into higher level dragons for relatively cheap, and then sell them off for thousands of gold. Though, there's not much money, you, you, there's not much reason to buy tons of cards in the game. I mean, if you can easily make copies of all the best cards, why even bother buying cards in the shop, right? I mean, I guess the real use for um, money is to buy lots of capture cards, which then allow you to, you know, capture, you know, monsters on the field that you may not have gotten, you know, through, um, drops at the end of a stage. So, it does let you know, I guess, go out there and catch monsters you miss, but honestly, I just couldn't be bothered to fill up the entire list anyway. Though I sort of wish you could duplicate capture cards, but you're not allowed to do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can put experience on capture cards, but you can't use that experience for anything. It's sort of like the God of Destruction, you know, you can't do anything with it. Because the game's like, nope, 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 you can have experience on this car, but you can't make copies of it, you can't upgrade it, you can't do nothing with it. Like, you can't even upgrade into a superior capture card. <laughs> Which just blows. Well, I guess we'll fly. Ah, 
using that whole evasion tactic that Eridos used. Well, I'm guessing she took that strat from her father. And that just leaves... What, uh, another Weezing? No, Eridos, okay. I forgot, she hadn't used the spider yet. Sadly, you know, this slow brown recluse is not really gonna really stop me. Ooh, Nightshade. Well, that was dumb luck. Can't count on that twice, though. After all, my chance of missing is only 5%. How is she getting that lucky? This can't keep up for forever. I mean, come on. Just come down on it. Like, hard. Just, like, BAM! Right in the back and just push your feet through. Like, just kill that Eridos. Oh, that takes care of Janny. Yeah, I handily won, because, you know, I'm over-leveled for you. Like, I'm more near, like, red levels, but I already know I can't take him out without using a ton of items. And then cross my fingers and hoping I don't get hit with a thunder from, you know, Pikachu. Because it'll tear my team apart. <sighs> well, I'll do for this episode. Next time, you know, we got the fun stuff involving, you know, going to Cerulean City, right? Because that's always one of the most enjoyable parts of this game, right? Oh, man, I hate that part. Till next time, then. See ya.